Welcome to this meeting. Today I'm going to present how to properly use PowerPoint on video conference. Let me share my screen. There we go. And let me start my slideshow. I hope you're all seeing the correct view, not the one with my notes. Ah, okay, sorry about that. Uh, let me try to fix this. Where is it? Never mind. I'll close it and I'll present it this way, it's much easier. Wait, 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 please don't run away. I just wanted to show you what not to do. How many times on Zoom, Teams, or whatever video conferencing platform you're using, we see this literally every day. I've actually done it too, as probably many of you. By the end of this video, you'll learn a couple of simple tips that will allow you to properly present PowerPoint slides while video conferencing. You'll be able to keep total control over your screen, properly use presenter mode, and at the same time, keep access to all the video conferencing controls and any other program on your computer. Are you using one or two screens? Well, no problem, I have tips for both cases. Is it really bad to present PowerPoint slides like this? Well, I don't think it's so bad. However, there is no reason to not do it better, right? There are a couple of issues associated to this mode. The first is that participants will see your ribbon, all the comments, all your slides, and the controls at the bottom. You want to keep the focus on what really matters. Everything else is distracting, so let's try to avoid it. Another disadvantage is that content may look too small. For example, if I click on this slide, the font here looks quite readable when I'm in presentation mode. However, it may be difficult to read, especially if people are attending on a small screen. The third big disadvantage is that animations and any other media that you have on your slide deck won't play. As you see in slide number two, I have an animation that is not playing. In order to play it, I need to go to presentation mode. And here you see that the presentation works properly. Let's start to find out what are the reasons that make us present this way. Let me first get out of the way. Well, I'm actually not sure, but I came up with these three thoughts. The first one is that it may be annoying when the slideshow covers the whole screen. And that applies to two screens if you're using presenter view. Then, as we saw at the beginning of the video, we often get stuck with screens and we don't know whether we are sharing the right view. Third reason may be that when we are sharing full screen, then we have no access to other programs. Okay, let's now look at how to fix this and properly present PowerPoint slides on video calls. I'll start from the case where you're working with one monitor only. If you don't want PowerPoint to cover up your whole screen, then what you have to do is to go to Slideshow, then set up Slideshow. Here you will have selected by default, presented by a speaker, full screen. Instead, you have to click on Browse by an individual. With this option, PowerPoint will open in a separate window that you can resize. Let's now try to start the Slideshow. If we now click at the top right, then we can resize the window and still use the presentation as normal, including any animation or embedded media. This is very similar to what you're used to. The only difference is that PowerPoint will keep displaying the name of the presentation, in this case it's still the template name, the number of slides and the settings here below. This is what your participants will see if you're sharing the whole screen. The advantage is that at the same time you can share other content, like for example a great YouTube channel. Let's say you only want to share the presentation and you don't want the participants to see what you have around it. What you can do is go to Share Screen, Advanced, and then Portion of Screen. A green frame will appear and you'll be able to resize it to your window. By doing so, we can avoid the participants see the name of the file and the presentation controls at the bottom. So whatever is out of this frame will not be seen by participants, meaning that here I can keep any content that is useful for my presentation, like a script on Word, for example. Another way to achieve similar results is to share the PowerPoint presentation instead of a display. We go to Share Screen and then select the PowerPoint application. By presenting in window mode, we still see the name of the file and the controls at the bottom. However, now participants will only see the PowerPoint presentation full screen. And if I open, for example, a website, they won't see it, even if I drag it over my presentation. A small disadvantage of using the Browse by an individual window option is that the presenter view is not available. 
as you see, this option is not active, meaning that we will not be able to read our notes. However, you can use a workaround of having a Word document close to your presentation. If you only have one screen and you want to present a slideshow, my recommendation is to use the window option in the slideshow settings and then only share the PowerPoint application, as this will leave some free space on your screen. Also, the advantage of sharing the application instead of a screen of a portion of the screen is that you will avoid participants to see any pop-up notification or any other thing on your computer that is not related to your presentation. Okay, let's now see the case when you're working with two monitors. If you're using presenter view, the first issue could be that you're not comfortable on which screen you're sharing, the slideshow or the presenter mode. The other concern is that maybe you don't want the two views to cover up both of your screens. Let's see what we can do. Let's assume you're happy with the slideshow taking over one of your two screens. In that case, in slideshow, set up slideshow, then you can toggle back presented by a speaker. So the presentation will go to full screen. Let's click on OK. If I now go to share screen on Zoom, actually I'm using three screens because on screen one I have OBS that I'm using to record the video. Let's click on share and let's go to presentation mode. OK, now the presentation is taking up the whole screen and this is what participants are seeing. On my other screen, I still see Zoom and I have access to all other applications of my computer. If you instead want to use presenter view, then you can tick this box. Now, on which screen will your slideshow appear? And where will the presenter view appear? To avoid the confusion we saw at the beginning of the video, we can go again to the slideshow tab and then select the monitor. Just choose one of your monitors and that's the monitor where your slideshow for the participants will appear. This is the monitor that you will have to share on Zoom. If I now toggle presentation mode, now participants will see the full presentation. Whereas on the other monitor, you will have access to the presenter view. If you want to have access to also other content, then you can resize the presenter view. Click here at the top and make it as small as you wish. In a similar way as before, you can have access to other content. If for whatever reason you messed up your screens, well, no worries, there is always a solution. Go to display settings, and choose Swap Presenter View and Slideshow. If you found this video useful, consider subscribing. Right here below in the comments if you have any additional tip and let me know if you'd like me to cover any other topic. What you can do for you right now is to watch this video where I'm sharing with you great PowerPoint tips and tricks to make your presentations more engaging. See you in my next digital tip.